I'm Dave. Uh, I'm a React developer for American Express, apparently. Um, and uh, I really like React, honestly. I'm super excited about it. I taught myself React. I got good jobs because of React. You know, the recruiters like to throw emails at you with big numbers because you know React, although I never get those jobs. Um, so, you know, I, I really like proud of the time. Re learning React was not easy. I'm really proud of the time I put into it, right? And then, you know, I hear all about all this view stuff. And I, I'm almost, honestly, perhaps shame me, almost defensive. Like, what is this view thing coming around saying it can, you know, do a virtual DOM too, right? But, you know, that, that's a little silly. So I gave it a shot. And actually, um, there's code there, okay, and it's view code. I made three components, okay? It's, I made a, uh, well, I didn't name the first one, I just used new view, and I put stuff in it. It had a template so we could display stuff, and then I had, uh, I registered two components in my main component, a GIF display, a GIF search, and uh, this is basically, uh, you can see a little better, it's really just a search box to start. So uh, someone give me a search term, we're gonna search for GIFs. Yeah. Cat. <laughs> too easy, too easy with this crowd. Now my internet connection is a little slow, so it's probably going to take a second to render the five GIFs I just got back from the Giphy API. Oh my god, this is so cool. I know. <laughs> this might as well be a 56k modem. <laughs> but I assure you that I used props just like I was a good old React dev, right? I passed down functions to the uh, search component and it uh, fired the function that effectively came from the parent to do a fetch. Here's the two of the five GIFs that are coming back. Wait, can you see more? No, yeah. They're going to be there. So I know what you're thinking right now. What you're thinking is, I have a really good design eye, right? This web brutalism layout is truly something special. Um, no, I didn't worry much about the CSS because I was really trying to focus on, um, you know, how do you do React-like things in Vue? And the good news is, well, I personally think React-like things are a pretty good idea. Reactive uh, DOM, trying to stick to one-way data flow when you can, makes things easier to reason about. You can do all that in Vue. So I kind of had my little epiphany is like, people think Vue is good, and it is good. And I started to think like, well, what's good about React? Everything that's good about React, Vue has. Except Vue is easier to use. I used the Vue CLI. It was like butter, baby. Right? I just ran it, made some choices, and Webpack, everything was set up. I know there's Create React app. Maybe I'm scarred, because when I started learning React, there was no Create React app, so I had to do Webpack tutorials on the internet. Ugh. So really, the only negative thing I can say about my time building something in Vue is I did find, when I was like looking up blog posts and resources, I found a lot of Vue 1 documentation that kind of conflicted, and it wasn't very props-oriented, like using a lot of vBind as the only option. So I was really trying to do one-way data flow because that makes a lot of sense to me as a React Redux developer. But anyway, I figured out how to do it all in Vue. And I wasn't even using Vuex, which I could if I really wanted to make it uh, flux-like, right? So I got to say I'm kind of sold. Vue's pretty damn great. Um, so now on to my, um, my slides. <laughs> I know you're excited about this part. To be fair, I think some React devs are a little arrogant about it. They can, I mean, I do flip my hair sometimes too, so you know, this isn't just a stereotype. But um, I think React devs may find in the future uh, Vue might become the next big thing. I really think it comes down to one big argument regarding which is better. It doesn't really matter, but the question is will the enterprise adopt it? The enterprise, for reasons I don't understand, honest, honestly, I guess because it's so component based, they've adopted React. But of course, Vue is just as uh, component-based, right? So I think the future of Vue uh, is a bright one. But um, if big companies start using Vue, I think React, um, this is a visual pun, but um, <laughs> it's a GIF of a screw going into wood. Like React is screwed, get it? <laughs> okay, no, seriously, so, but, um, if you come across a React dev like me who is like, Vue, I don't know, man. Dan Abramov told me to do X, Y, and Z. I don't know about this Vue stuff. Uh, you just need to remember the cycle of culture shock, right? When people travel, they encounter other cultures, they go through four common phases. The honeymoon phase, which is, oh, that's cute. You have a virtual DOM too. 
the, the negation phase where they start to really grapple with the change. They, React devs will probably say th things like defensively, React isn't a framework, it's a view library, which people used to say all the time, but it's the stupid thing to say. And then adjustment will finally come where they start to get new routines. They're like, wow, the view CLI is pretty good. I'm still using Webpack. I can use Vuex. It's just like Flux or Redux. And then finally, the last stage, when a React developer spends enough time with Vue, they will have adapted and become a Vue developer themselves. Hopefully, I'm still not really a Vue developer. I mean, you saw the app I just made. It's not the greatest thing in the world. But I've already begun my journey. I'm in the negotiation, maybe even the adjustment phase. So I think I'm making good progress. If you encounter a freaked out React developer who cannot get past the adjustment phase, first, stay calm. Second, deploy your view puns. They are mathematically proven to work all the time. So deterministically, you will be fine. Do I have another slide? That's all I got for you. The question was, um, why would the enterprise, why would they or would they not adopt Vue, right? What's the appeal to the enterprise? So if you think of Java, um, Tessa, you were in my meetup where I railed against object-oriented programming like a maniac, right? Obviously, I have some strong opinions about uh, object-oriented programming in Java. I don't think it's a great language. I mean, it actually has a lot of really good stuff about it, if I'm being objective, right? But I think it's hung on as a standard so much because there's so many people that already know it, right? A lot of people are learning React to go get their job at American Express, for instance, and other, uh, I think Bloomberg and Goldman Sachs use it. Um, Facebook uses it, obviously, you would hope so. Google doesn't, who knows. Um, so I think there's a certain inertia React has, but I think if startups really pick up Vue and show how easy it is to get stuff done with Vue, oh, and by the way, Vue, the Vue package is even lighter than React, right? So like, there's a lot of advantages Vue does have. I think if the startups start using it to a lot of great effect, then one like really big unicorn startup kind of grows and has a major production app running in Vue, and then some enterprises start to try it out, I think that momentum could turn in Vue's favor. Do I use Vue more functionally or OOP? And can I repeat the question? Um, so React is hard not to do functionally, at least in part, right? Because if you're using a Flux implementation, you have to use immutable data, right? Um, and you know, you'll see in React code, everyone's doing dot map, dot reduce. You could though, React uses classes, right? React components can be classes, they can have lifecycle methods. So you could skew very object oriented in React. So when I was using Vue, I, I did uh, Vue.extend, right, to create my components. I don't know if that's the right way it worked. Uh, there's also Vue.component, which is pretty similar, right? I had methods inside my component, right? And then they could reference this dot other stuff. So that's a little object oriented, but like when you say true object oriented programming, I guess if you take strongly typing out of the equation that now polymorphism doesn't matter a lot, but you're really not inheriting anything either way. You're really not using interfaces necessarily in an enforced way. I mean, I guess you are if you expect certain classes. I think the nice thing about both React and Vue is it's pretty optional. You are not railed into one style or the other. Vue sounds like you have to have some instance methods, but I mean, is that really object-oriented program? I would argue it's not. That goes along with object-oriented program, but like formal object-oriented programming has a lot of conventions required of it, and both React and Vue can completely skirt most of those conventions. Um, I didn't use my Vue super functionally, but I did try to like instead of giving my child components their own functions, I wanted everything to live in one place in a pass down behavior so that I could have, to keep things more, you know, uh, stateless whenever possible without side effects. So, I mean, personally, with no basis, I would say you probably should do your view more functionally. That makes more sense to me. But if you're an OOP person, that makes a lot of sense to you. You could do it either way. Freedom. Okay, so the question was, the CLI made, made it seem easy to use. What else made it easy to use? So the learning curve on React, at least when I started, was really brutal. Um, partially, oh, I'm glad that Josh brought up, um, it's just JavaScript. That needs to stop, man. Even JavaScript isn't even just JavaScript. It relies on HTML and CSS and DOM querying, right? Um, so everyone, you know, I heard that uh, React is just JavaScript, but it's not, because it's all the libraries you have to use. You have to have a bundler. Um, you have to have, um, 
Babel through your bundler to handle the JSX. That's another big thing I'm not thinking of. Uh, well, you have to learn a Flux implementation, probably Redux, right? So there's no, you just learn React. It's, and because it's not kind of corralled into a standard, Create React app has made that a lot easier, but it's still all over the place. How are you gonna do routing? I don't know. Vue has fewer choices there, right? When I did the Vue CLI, it was really easy to get started. And um, exactly how Vue did data passing, creating its templates, took some getting used to, but I I'm pretty sure I spent three hours bumbling around with Vue to get it to work. And it probably took me 10 plus hours with React to really get. I built a similar GIF app to what I just showed you, and it took me definitely more than three hours in React. So I would say there is some little magic going on in the ecosystem of Vue that just gives you fewer choices, and that's going to move things faster. The question was, is there any state management library other than Vuex or MobX? There's also Redux. I didn't use it, but you can plug Redux right into Vue if you like it. By the way, Redux is awesome. What an elegant tool. I'm not saying it's the best state management library, but um, the design uh, and the guy who made it, Dan Abramov, his tweets are amazing. Uh, he has a really like, calls himself a junior dev for life, very approachable, and like the elegance of how he designed what is basically just a published subscribe system for an object is incredible. Now, I've never used Vuex or MobX as it happens, um, but I get the feeling Vuex is so heavily influenced by Redux, it can't help but be beautiful. And uh, other than those three, I don't know. Um, so React has a context API now that's supposed to replace Redux. I don't know if you could build something similar in Vue, but I bet you could. You could at least fake it. So you could at least pass your state down with everything by default. Sir, can you do inheritance in Vue? Can you inherit classes? If you wanted to, you could probably force some type of injection of con or state into every component. I bet there's a way to do it. So that would be an alternative. Why you'd go to all that trouble, I don't know, but development. Um, the question was, how did I feel about the reactivity in Vue? I felt good about it. <laughs> um, I guess I have such a simple answer because it, I did have problems getting data to pass at first, like doing props, I needed to do the colon syntax in front of the prop name. But like once it was wired up, it was just effortless and just worked. So I might not, honestly, I might not really understand how it's implemented, but it sure ran smooth and good 